Dear families and friends, good afternoon. We are gathered here today to remember and to pay tribute to a very special person, Dr. Rogelio Reyes. Dr. Reyes was a remarkable person in so many ways. He lived his life to the full and touched so many people during his wonderful giving life. It is an honor and privilege for me to pay this tribute today to such a great person. My name is Shahriar, and I'm cousin of dear Kojaste, lovely and caring wife of Dr. Reyes. Our deepest condolences go to dear Kojaste and Kevin, his beloved and wonderful wife and son, to his sister Raquel, and brothers Ruben, Rodolfo, Jose, Roberto, and Ramon. Also to all relatives and families, friends, respectable colleagues, and associates at the university and his students. On behalf of the family, we would also like to thank you for coming to this gathering, and especially to those who have traveled and came from far distances to be here today. Also expressing appreciation for your words of comfort and supporting during this past couple of weeks. A famous writer once said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Rogelio gave so much during his life and never wanted anything for himself. He was humble and at peace with himself. The greatest joy for him was when he could do something for others in need. His lifelong mission was to be a great husband, father, brother, friend, and above all, a great teacher. I cannot describe or find words to explain how he had achieved the highest human possibly level in all the categories I mentioned. He was a true and talented scholar and educator with a great love for languages, world history, philosophy, and learning about different cultures around the world. His enthusiasm for life and energy took him to many countries and their academic institutions where he could learn about their people, way of life, and to be among them. He would always mention that he felt the world had become smaller and smaller for him. Since he could relate to all the people through the medium of language and cultural and social studies he had done. Dr. Rogelio Reyes was born in the small copper mining town of Miami, Arizona. His parents had migrated from Mexico and had 12 children, of which four had passed away in early ages. Rogelio was the seventh child. The family faced poverty, <coughs> racial discrimination, and toughest living conditions during Rogelio's childhood. His later life mission of helping the powerless and the needy immigrants had been rooted from his own early life and childhood experiences and solidified his commitment later to fight for equality and social justice. Dr. Reyes was a self-made man. As a child, made up his mind that he was going to educate himself and rise above poverty. At a very young age, he showed an unusual obsession with books and art, and he began his academic accomplishments very early. He accomplished his high schools. He completed his high school ahead of time and had won several prizes for being a valedictorian and head of their debate teams. He wanted to continue his education, but because no money was available, he promptly joined the United States Air Force to try to get educational funding through the Veterans Education Program, the GI Bill, and go to college. Dr. Reyes served the Air Force for three years, from which he received an honorable discharge. Dr. Reyes showed a tremendous talent for languages and went on to pursue his studies in linguistics. He received his BA in anthropology from Universidad de las Americas in Cholula, Mexico, completed graduate work in linguistics at the Universidad Degli Studi in Florence, Italy, did further graduate work in the Slavic languages at the University of Munich in Germany, and received his PhD and doctorate in linguistics from the Harvard University in 1976. 
He also earned a diploma in Slavic languages in 1989 from University of Zagreb, Yugoslavia. His language competencies were legendary. He was always modest when asked how many languages he spoke. You just saw on the video. I did get a listing from the university website. In addition to Spanish and English, he was fluent in Persian, Portuguese, Italian, German, and French. He was conversant in Serbo-Croatian, Russian, modern Greek, Hindi, and Urdu. He had beginner-level language skills in Cantonese, Japanese, Catalan, and Purepecha, and reading ability in Latin, Classic Greek, and Sanskrit. Isn't it just remarkable? I just can't explain. Dr. Reyes has taught at the University of San Francisco, also in Oregon, and finally joined the faculty at the San Diego State University, Imperial Valley, in 1986. As an associate professor in linguistics, and in 1997, he promoted to full professor. His list of accomplishments and leadership in several programs are mentioned at the SDSU, the university website, and are just amazing and endless. Perhaps, this would be that his colleagues who are here today can further tell us more about his wonderful tenure at the university and his achievement. I first met Dr. Rogelio Reyes back in 1982, about 30 years ago in Bay Area, a few months before he got married to my cousin, Kojaste. She told me the gentleman I was going to meet was actually her professor of one of her courses at the University of San Francisco where she was enrolled in her master's degree program. It took only about 30 minutes or so of discussion for me to realize what a great and wonderful individual he was. We discussed the hot topics of those days, namely the revolution in Iran, Iran-Iraq war that had just started, cultural differences, war politics, and some about each other's background. I was very impressed by his world views and the fact that his lifelong mission was to help and assist powerless people of the world, and in particular, the minority immigrants that had no voice, he had particularly felt during suffering through his own childhood experiences when he was growing in Arizona. Once he changed our world views, then he began telling me how much he loved my cousin, and how knowing her made him change his mind about marriage. He was certain that he had found his partner for life from land of Persia, where he had admiration for its rich history, culture, and languages. I think one can say it was love at the first teaching. <laughs> Ironically, Dr. Reyes, six years before he met Hojase in the US, he won a scholarship from the University of Tehran to study Persian and its derivative languages such as Dari, Pahlavi, and Urdu. This was a two-month session in Tehran. His Persian language interest was actually started when he was a student at the Harvard University doing his studies of Avesta, the ancient Persian holy book. Holy book. Hojaste was telling us that when he first met Dr. Rogelio, she was impressed that among all languages he knew, he could also speak Farsi. He would recite her poems from Omar Khayyam and also from Shahnameh. One interesting in story was that when Dr. Rogelio wanted to express you welcome or thank you to Khojaste, he would say with Azerbaijani accent, Jurbani Shumon. <laughs> Khojaste found out that when Rogelio was in Tehran for his studies, he stayed at Lalazar Hotel near the university at the city center, and the hotel concierge or doorman was from Azerbaijan a northern province of Iran. So every time Rogelio thanked concierge for his assistant, the concierge would say, Gurbani <laughs> So that was how he picked up the other accent. Few years later, the destiny brought them together and gave us the privilege of knowing one of the most loving couples ever. He could carry a conversation with old, young, man, woman, children, and always connected in the way that people felt important and respected. And at the end, with the feeling that they had learned something from him. He would never contradict you or say something to offend you, even if he was in disagreement with you. He would let you know that he respected your point of view. His vast knowledge was amazing. 
Once it told me, Shahriyar, did you know that the recent buzz phrase of knowledge is power was first introduced by Ferdowsi, an Iranian poet over a thousand years ago? I said, no, I didn't know that. He said, of which translation in English is the one who has the knowledge is the one who is most able. At that time, he was working on his Shahnama by Ferdowsi translation. Dr. Reyes was truly powerful through his knowledge. He was in a level higher than the world's materialistic things and used his powers to help others in the best way that pleased him, and that was simply teaching. Simply teaching. Yes, he was indeed powerful. Powerful in connecting with people and winning their hearts and admiration. I'm pretty sure this was the case among his colleagues and his students throughout all the years of his teachings. We are so proud that he joined our family some 30 years ago and became part of our lives. We learned a lot from him and we always praised him as a true gentleman with the highest qualities and distinguished traits an individual could possibly have. At our family gathering and parties, everyone enjoyed the wonderful couple, Rogelio and Kojaste, performing their duo concert mix of Spanish and Persian songs. Rogelio played his lovely guitar, accompanied with Kojaste's beautiful voice, and played songs of Mexico, Bolivia, and Cuba. Most interesting, joyous moment was when Rogelio began singing his Persian song with his sweet accent. His voice of saying, that fekre budam, meaning I was thinking of you, while looking in a romantic way at Kojaste, still ringing in our ears. You could hardly find him a moment without a book in his hand reading or doing a special study or preparing for his classes. He had also a special sense of humor with very thoughtful punchlines. Once I asked him at a family gathering if he wasn't getting tired of so much reading and gluing to his books. He looked at me and vividly remembering the expression on his face and said, you can call up Ferdowsi with your cell phone and ask him why. And he has the answer for you. First, I didn't get it. Then he went on explaining that he learned a poem from Shah Nabe by Ferdowsi, which I mentioned earlier he was working on an English translation script. The poem in Persian goes as such. And the English translation is, and it was said by the messenger of God who only tells the truth that one shall learn from cradle to grave. One shall learn from cradle to grave. I got my answer. This was said a thousand years ago. When you reflect on his life, it becomes evident that it was exactly what he did to learn and teach for life. To learn and teach for life. It was amazing how quickly he came out with that reply to me. I learned something by asking a question from him. I'm pretty sure if I was German, he would have quoted something from Nietzsche or Goethe, or if I was Greek, a quote from Socrates. <clears throat> he was a spontaneous and top of his vast and tremendous knowledge. These precious minds don't come around too often. We will always remember Dr. Reyes and we will celebrate his remarkable life of full of achievement and devotion to help others. I want to mention here that he was also very, very proud of his wonderful son, Kevin, who is currently at the law school. Dear Kevin, we are all also proud of you and want to let you and your mom know that you both had the best dad and husband one could ever have. And he loved you both dearly. Rogelio face and mission guides his actions, words, and deeds. He strove always to be the best he could be. Family man, colleague, friend, and champion to others. On Thursday, March 31st, 2011, about two weeks ago, this journey full of achievement ended abruptly, and Dr. Reyes passed away due to severe heart complications. He left an amazing legacy behind. God bless his soul. We miss you, Rogelio. But we all remember you fondly, always in our hearts. Thank you.